What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Sayushi, and we are back again for some more Trove. And today we're going to be talking about the St. Cubes Lick event, which doesn't really last that long, does it? You'll have to excuse me. I, I know that this video is going to be a little bit later today. Uh, and also, you probably hear it in my voice. Maybe I should do some ASMR, but uh, I, I just woke up. I, I slept in. I'm still kind of getting over the jet lag of my trip. Uh, and sleep is kind of a priority for me because it, I don't know. It's like, I'll get these videos up to you guys when I get them up to you guys, but I'm still going to get them up to you today. So anyways, uh, the St. Cubes Lick event is not bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can see right here, the highlighted item that they're trying to show is there is a new store pack, but I'll have a separate video that's going to end up, uh, showing that off shortly. I'll either have that out today or tomorrow, depending. So uh, bear with me, but let me just tell you that the pack is really cool because it's actually worth credits So free to play players can actually get it game has been doing a great job with it But uh, the only reason I'm highlighting the pack is because one of the items in the pack in particular this little frog ally that you can probably barely see is going to end up being one of the very rewards that we'll end up getting from completing the event and that's kind of lame like i don't like that because every other event that we've had in trove the item that you get out of the event is usually something completely separate from something that you'll end up buying out of a pack i mean i guess it's cool but it's it's not really that big of a deal it's just for me like i'm used to having maybe it would be like a reskin of the frog that looks pretty much the exact same and we would get that out of the event but anyways let's talk about the event okay but before we do that I would appreciate if you guys would smash that good button it would help me out very very much so the first part of the quest is going to gather lucky dust you have to gather 35 lucky dust and you literally get it for completing dungeons uh shadow towers aren't going to count towards it uh you can just go to novice and do that easy enough three star dungeons are going to give you five points towards the completion of the quest rather than just completing a normal dungeon will give you one point so it probably is the most efficient to end up going to the geode surface just because in the geode surface you're going to end up finding five star dungeons uh, and five star dungeons are not only just very common you know they're pretty much like having five dungeons all compact right next to each other so that's already a bunch of points uh, but uh, normally all of the objectives in a five star dungeon count as three star dungeon objectives it's just kind of how the game works but the weird thing is that with this part of the quest it actually won't recognize uh, cursed skulls as a three star objective which might be how the rest of the game works in general it's not like we've gotten to test this out of anything specific but uh killing bosses in five star dungeons those will count towards three star dungeon completions and give you a full uh five of the lucky dust just because the way that the game works uh all of the boss entities that are spawned in the five star dungeon uh actually count as a three star dungeon because they're bigger they're more powerful rather than just like completing a normal dungeon enemy uh but the Curse skulls kind of makes sense just because yeah uh you don't get any extra points for completing the five star dungeon though so keep that in mind it might be better to just go out of your way for three star dungeons exclusively five star dungeons can be good but if they have a lot of curse skulls they're not really going to end up helping you out and out of that you're going to have to uh, or you're going to end up getting 10 chaos chests beautiful especially because this this week we've got uh the new chaos chest item which is a bat mount uh, i'll have a video highlighting that a little bit later today and it's it's pretty cool i like it uh so then you have to craft with lucky dust uh -huh, uh -huh. so how do you do this well uh we have one of these radiant day springs in our club world uh, i'll just show you guys just in case you're part of the club and you want to end up crafting this it's a, a lot easier than well, it's not really easier, but right over here is the Radiant Day Spring. That is an item that has since been recycled into event functions. So the Radiant Day Spring I talked about more recently, uh, it used to be tied to login tokens. You would basically log in, get a token, and then you could spend it to get various rewards. They have since removed all of those rewards from the entire game. I mean, if you still have them in your inventory, obviously you still have them, uh, but they changed it so that the Radiant Day Spring now is actually used for limited time event items and stuff. So you can craft confetti balls pretty much all the time, uh, but then we've got the St. Cubes with Clover Seeds and the Lucky Stars. So it just wants you to craft with the lucky dust and you only have to craft three items. Uh, 
I mean, it's up to you whether you want to get into some of the gardening stuff, but basically what this is going to do is you're going to have to water this, wait for it to grow. Check out my gardening 2.0 video, honestly speaking, because the gardening can end up being pretty weird. Uh, it's going to take a long time before you end up seeing the fruits of your rewards or the vegetables of your rewards with this plant, uh, but ultimately it's going to end up crafting into a lucky clover, which gives you 50 magic find for one hour, which not really that much worth it honestly speaking it doesn't help out that much maybe if you're really early on in the game it'll end up being useful i don't know or you can craft lucky stars now what lucky stars do is they'll actually give magic find to yourself and seven other people you're going to end up getting 50 magic find for five minutes or until you switch worlds <laughs> so that's uh i don't know what the point is of that like seriously, there is never an instance where you would need magic find just for five minutes. Like, especially because magic find doesn't really affect as many things as the game pretends it does. Like, I, I don't know what they're expecting with this. Are they expecting you to throw one of these down before you throw down pinatas? Because as far as I know, magic find does not affect the drops of pinatas and other items like that. It's weird. So anyways, long story short, after you complete that objective, uh, all you gotta do is craft three things. You don't use them, okay? You craft three of them and you'll get five bound brilliance. And the reason you don't want to use them is because the next quest objective is literally going to be spread some luck. So you gotta throw down all three of the items or plant all three of the items that you just ended up crafting. Yeah. So be careful just because I've seen some people just craft it and then they throw it right away or maybe they only craft one because I don't know, maybe you don't have enough lucky dust. I mean, you should based on how the objectives are laid out, but I, I just, I have a feeling that somebody made that mistake and then they have to go grind more dungeons for lucky dust, which isn't that big of a deal. But anyways, after you spread the luck, just by throwing down three of them, uh, you'll end up gaining 10 lapis luck bugs. So those are uh, gem leveling items. So that's not bad. And then you have to take down three star dungeons, 15 of them. So that is going to end up being a lot simpler than you would think, because obviously you could could go back to geode surface if you want uh shadow towers will actually work for this objective so that's all i ended up doing because every shadow tower uh ends up counting as a three star dungeon but for some reason in the quest that i mentioned earlier it doesn't like shadow tower doesn't actually give you the lucky dust which is weird yeah but geode surface will probably end up working just as well if you don't want to go through shadow towers but if you can handle normal shadow towers i mean it's easy peasy you just blast through it all right so you'll end up getting two contained chaos spark which contained chaos spark are very very useful because what they'll end up doing a spark is literally just going to randomize this stat into another stat uh, and then last but not least you have to throw 10 confetti or 10 lucky stars so, I mean, my recommendation, if you want to throw 10 lucky stars, I mean, be my guest. But again, what's the magic find for? That's just a waste of time. Or you can just end up spending a lot less glim to get a bunch of confetti balls and just throw them on the ground. They literally just are video effects. That doesn't actually do anything. And then, uh, thankfully, the game also gives a good description and specifically says that you can craft the confetti balls from the Radiant Dayspring. So that's nice. And then, oddly enough, you'll end up getting this little sir lancy hop the lucky leaper which oddly enough is the same ally that you end up getting from the pack that i mentioned earlier which i don't like that because it made me feel like the event or even the pack like one or the other felt useless you know like if you buy the pack then it's like you completely voided the entire event outside of the items that you'll end up getting out of the event obviously but it's like Come on, dude. I wanted to get like a proper reward for completing the whole event, not just the exact same thing that I already just bought. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it weird? Is it not? I mean, overall, the event itself is simple enough and you end up getting, I don't know, you get an ally out of it. So whatever. It's kind of just all standard issue at this point. But the event itself is cool. And I do like the fact that they do have a store pack for the event. I hope they continue this theme because it was worth credit. So free to play players can experience it. And then otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching, gamers. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel, and have yourselves a great day. Also, sorry I didn't have the face cam, but when I wake up, I'm all congested and crap, and it's like, I can feel it right now. My nose is so stuffy. Stay epic, gamers.